This is Al for the FightGame.tv, and we're down here in TJ, where we saw Mr. Brandon Vera. How you doing, Brandon? How's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. We had some great fights here at Cage of Fire. Uh, I know you had a fighter uh, which weighed ship, the main event, on the end. How do you think of his fight, and did you guys plan it out, or did you just come here to support him? Um, me and Wade trained together a lot. Uh, unfortunately, not for this fight. I didn't get to train with him a lot. I just came back from fighting Frank Mir. Uh, I guess... Uh, there was a two-week span where we did train once or twice together. I knew Wade was in shape, and I'm real proud of him. Uh, he implemented his game plan, uh, stuck with the basics, and won it, man. He, he just pushed through and put on a good show. Yeah, we saw that um, Monster, he came out strong and hard, and um, um, he, Wade was able to outlast him, you know, just like you said, stick with the game plan. Just game plan, game plan, and we, he executed it great. Would there be anything different that you would have seen Oh, would you have liked him have done anything different? No, he did it perfect. His first round, you know, getting the jitters out first round. Uh, he was dancing around well. When we train, we always try to dance around. We always say, be light, move, move. Pretend we're a lightweight. Pretend you're a lightweight. Pretend you're a lightweight. So that you bounce, move around. Uh, and he did it. I mean, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. Stuck with his game plan. Chopped the legs, went to the head, chopped the leg, went to the head, went to the clinch, chopped the leg. You couldn't ask for a better fight. And we know he won today. Mm -hmm. So now about yourself. We know you're a contender, or pretty close to being a contender in many people's eyes for the heavyweight belt, you know. Um, we know how would you fight Silva as far as how Munson fought him? Would you fight him differently? Obviously, you would have to do a little different game plan because, you know, Munson came out with the loss. How would you come up to Silva as far as his reach? You're a pretty tall guy, but... He's a little bit taller than you. Yeah, his reach is like a four-foot-long jab. I mean, his his jab with his hand is probably like my foot jab with my lead leg. So um, the game plan, for sure, I don't know what it would be. That would be up to my coaches to decide, and I would just implement the game plan that they gave me. But as far as what I would like to do, I would like to stand up and bang with him, um, show him what Muay Thai is about. I mean, his long jab versus my leg kick versus pairing right cross versus my foot jabs I think it'll be a good fight all day long on the feet I mean uh, I just need to make sure that I'm in shape and I'm moving around well and that I keep the action on the feet at a fast pace and you said being in shape how do you feel right now if you were offered a title shot do you think you would be ready or would it be something you know what I gotta train for four months or so to get to that point no, I've been. Uh, I just got done fighting. I haven't trained. I haven't trained in uh, a week. So <laughs> I, uh, I took a week and a half off. I started training again with the guys. It's uh, my cardio's still there. I, my muscles are sore. My forearms still get tight. I don't. I would need about eight to ten weeks. I'd be game. I'd go again. Anybody in the UFC rank heavyweight division, or even light heavyweight? I know you can move down in weight. For sure. You know that you would say, okay, if I could get through this guy. I know I have a title shot. Actually, no. There's nobody I'm looking at like that. Uh, honestly, I'd like to fight either. Man, heavyweights, it doesn't matter who I fight. But, man, I'd really like to fight Chuck before he uh, before he doesn't want to fight anymore. Chuck don't have, you know, and Chuck's beating everybody up bad. Like, I think this whole year has only fought less than eight minutes. In a whole year, that's all you fought? This has been punishing people, man. So, I... I like to fight Chuck. See what I see. What I really do have to offer. I'm a young kid, up and coming. Chuck's like the man. I mean, he's he's a he's a man right now. I want to see what I have. You know, or see what see what I got to bring to the table. You told us right now that you would like to fight off Silva and you would do your Muay Thai skills on it. Would you also do the same thing for Chuck, or your Jiu Jitsu or wrestling? Anything would come into play. No, for sure. With Chuck, it would probably be a mixture of everything. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't chase Chuck down. I would draw a line in the middle of the ring and stand right there in the middle. I'd make Ch Chuck either fight me in the middle of the ring, or I would I would go backwards and circle. I would not go forward against Chuck. Yeah, we all know that he's, he's a great Eric, counterfighter. Exactly. He's a great counterfighter. I mean, you run at Chuck, you're going to go to sleep. It's basically how, that's the, how it goes. Would you like to tease him, though, go forward and move back and move around? Oh, of course. That would be part of the game plan. Yeah. Pull him in, slip, faints, everything, all that. That's still part of the game plan, but I would never run forward. I'll never take more than two or three steps forward at Chuck. And if the case was that you were able to take him down, if you wanted to do jiu-jitsu, would you try to finish him with any moves like that, or you let him get up and both of them get up and create a big show for everyone? Hell no. If I got it on the ground with Chuck, I'd keep it on the ground. <laughs> Nobody's ever gotten Chuck to the ground, so that'd be almost like a major accomplishment in itself, getting Chuck to the ground. So we'll see.
We'll see how it goes. Brandon, thanks a lot. Thank anybody out there you'd like to thank? Or any shout outs you would like to give to anybody out there? Yeah, I want to thank all my family, my friends for supporting me. Uh, I want to thank my coaches, Rob Kamen, Master Lloyd Irvin, my manager, Mark Dion, all my sponsors, man. There's so many of them to name. Uh, Tribal, Crazy Kevins. Um, man, there's a lot of sponsors out there. And I just want to thank everybody, especially my Filipino fans. Mabu hai salahat. Thank you very much. See you soon. Brandon, thanks a lot, man. Thanks, boss. Thanks. Al for the fightgame.tv here with Brandon Barrett.